What's that? That's an image of death, conjured by the humans. This can't go on. We must protect the netherworld. Go on. Go back to the land of the living. But do think about us once in a while. Hello and welcome people back to more of Folklore. Now this guy is a pain in the ass to deal with. Because first of all you can't you can't damage him until you uh, until you light his path uh, light his ass on fire. On top of that if you don't have a shield equipped do that right away because he constantly jumps around and the only way to actually avoid that attack is to do the shield. Or you have to time your, um, uh, or you have to time your uh, your dodges very uh, very carefully. But also doesn't hey, at help least you. The shield puts you in a really good position. Yeah. Actually. The shield actually, as far as uh, yeah, it it says it gives you full frontal protection, but the truth is. Um, it also gives you protection from the, uh, from like the, uh, uh, yeah, from every side that isn't your, uh, isn't exactly your back. And here is something that I missed, because camera, thank you very much. Um, once you destroy one of his legs, uh, you have to go up to his, um, uh, you have to go uh, up to his face and then uh, zap him a couple of times into the thing that uh, sticks out of his face. This boss isn't exactly difficult. It's more of a... Uh, you're going to be battling the camera more than you actually battle the, the boss itself. I can tell that already. It's pretty. You have to. The thing you have to watch out more for is uh, not to do what I'm doing here and stand right next to a wall, because the camera yeah, is absolutely, that. absolutely dreadful. And also, as far as the targeting goes, uh, try to not use it if you can, because there is no way for you to actually, uh, actually pick your targets. And also, um, for for sticking uh, for sticking something in his mouth, I would say uh, I would say it's best to use um, the gobbled because he can actually combo it, and this is actually what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> That's when if we done things the way you're supposed to. Well, the thing is, this is actually what they're telling you uh, in the book. What to do. But yeah, he drains your HP like there is no tomorrow. And there is no way to, the, uh, to restore it in, the, uh, in this fight. Or actually just about any boss fight from what I remember. But thankfully, even if you... Uh, even if you destroy all of his, uh, all of the protectors on his legs, you can still, uh, you can still hit him into that leg and get the same effect. Thank you, yeah. camera. Amazing. Yeah, you, have to, you have to zap it and then zap it some more. Weirdly enough, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't immediately, uh, he doesn't immediately breathe uh, uh, fire at you if you do the right thing. And also, don't stand right next to him when he's falling down because he will damage you. <laughs> what a 
shame. Oh, this lovely camera. Ah, uh, this camera is dreadful. And the targeting system is like really uh, begs the question why they would even do uh, do it this way if there is no way for me to switch between the uh, the targets. And there are ways right. to do it. I mean, even freaking Jackenguard Three did it better. Uh, where you flick the uh, right analog stick in order to switch between the targets. Now, yeah, this one is slightly different from what we've seen so far. Uh -oh. Yeah, it switches be uh, it switches randomly between the uh, the ones that we already know. Uh, the main point of the uh, of the one where you whack it uh, from side to side is just not to get it lower than what you had it before because you're not really getting it uh, you're not really going to get it uh, far above what you start yeah you get it up more with the with the yanking one uh -huh. Well, she absorbed that one a little easier than the last one. Mm-hmm. And here is something is uh, something that happened only because I didn't uh, destroy all of his uh, shields on his uh, on his legs. They needed to get him in the condition for the cutscene. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I never knew that. Now it is dead. Finally. Well, hello there. Who the hell are you? Oh, he's flames on AK YouTube Sasuke. Exactly. You're standing weird on those stairs. Yeah. Yeah, we we've already met her. Uh, we've already met his wife, but he we haven't met him yet. Oh, 
Oh, don't worry, she already thinks all that. Hmm. If you show it to her, we don't even know what it is. But it's oh, uh, it's he, Ellen. He means the clown. Nobody really wants to see that. Fox die. Ugh. And now he became a butt bug. God damn it. And he was killed. By being bitch slapped to death. What a way to go. By a little girl. Seriously, what the fuck? I mean, it's Ryan we're talking about. True enough, true enough. <laughs> yeah, change clothes. Save data, I'm not doing that boss again. <laughs> Why not? Well, come on, man, boss speed run. I am going to do that boss again with Keats, and it's gonna go much more swimmingly. <laughs> but yeah, you can't actually go to the church. I I checked. I don't know if I show it here or not, but you can't. What a shame. Yeah, I do show it off. I think uh, I think there was also something I I think I saw. Next to the uh, yeah, those couple of um, those couple of planks, which I thought uh, were a thing, but they really weren't. I don't know why I am I am checking those sorts of things. I guess they look way too much like treasure chests uh, in other RPGs or something. It's like it's like that sense where you see something in uh, the corner of a fixed camera angle, and you're like, oh, that that's a thing. Yeah. Now I need to go all the way around to get it. Well, at least this isn't uh, Tales of Destiny where you have to pixel hunt for your treasure. Or do that stupid thing to get the summon with the boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the box puzzles of God. <laughs> Specifically or, the timed ones. Or race with the stupid kid. Nah, tag with the kid. Oh god. <laughs> you get cheats. <laughs> Can't playing it on PS3. But yeah. Oh you saw Ryan, huh? I like how I mean I I guess it makes sense that he's not really surprised that you're going to and from the underworld. Yeah, I mean, he does know that there is shit going on at the bar after he closes. There, it, it's a reason why there is nobody at the bar when uh, when the sun goes down. Right? I like how Gomez here is like, people think you're going to the underworld, what idiots. And meanwhile, again, all he's done is stare at the lamppost. 
It must be a very fascinating lamppost. Seriously. Oh my god, like, what does this guy do for a living? Just stand here? Uh. When the sun goes down, he plays his Turbo Graphics 16. <laughs> yeah. And then later on, he'll go get an Xbox One to play Killers Dead on. Uh, it's all fun and games. Mm hmm. She's definitely hiding something. I don't like it. Harriet's the girl in the wheelchair, right? Yes. Well, woman. Okay, I figured. Yeah. She, I, I think she's pretty old, although it's really hard to tell because she never shows her face. <laughs> Secretly, she's like 12. You know, of course I need to talk to everyone, including the little girl that has little to nothing to do with anything. Why did you kill Ryan? Round and round the fairy circle, make the wish come true. Pray to the fairies for nine days and they will grant your wish. Not now that they're all dead. But yeah, this is actually... Um, this is actually something I, I also didn't know. Uh, it's something they explain later on, uh, but you can already know it from the little girl. I always, I always like uh, nice, uh, nice little details like these, where just by walking around and bumping into people, you find out things that uh, you're not really, uh, you can know at this point, and it will not really be too much of a spoiler. But you know, it's not yet uh, revealed uh, outright. It's kind of like having conversations with uh, additional conversations with people in Baroque. God. Damn it. <clears throat> no questions asked. You're coming with me. Hmm. Well, I told you I speak with the dead. She speaks dead. It's like foreign, but with the dead. <laughs> yes, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Speaking foreign got him killed. Damn. Well, whatever, I'm just gonna go. Well, no, never mind then.
Why is that in all caps? It's because she shouted it suddenly. She lost her composure. Go see Dr. Lester! It's completely unlike Ellen. She's probably possessed now. 